Just for this video, I created a plugin for the benchmark's performance of WordPress and the results looks like this. Ryzen is almost three times as fast as Epic, but that's not a full story. And also Epic can be equal or even faster when you have a lot of visitors. When someone visits your WordPress website, it generates web page just for him. When another person comes, web page is generated once again. The generation of web page in WordPress is single-threaded, meaning that speed is directly tied to performance of one core. You can upgrade from low-end 4-core CPU to a lot more expensive 16-core CPU and there is no difference whatsoever coming from these additional cores and most of the time, pretty much all the time, with more cores comes less performance per single core. This is why we see such extreme example, where desktop chip is almost three times faster than a very expensive server processor with 64 cores. However, if that page is generated right now and you get additional visitor, then he can be placed on another core. So it means that with more cores you can have more visitors without slowdown, because pages can be generated with all 64 cores at once. But still, if processor with less cores have faster cores, then the singular core will be free and available faster. So yeah, that quickly becomes very confusing and I want to give you an answer to your question. What processor is the best for WordPress? To answer that, I created a lot more extended benchmark. We will take a look at performance of 1, 2, 3 and 4 cores from both very fast Ryzen 9 9950X and AMD Epic Melan. This will simulate the VPS instances that you can get from various providers from 2 to 15 bucks per month. The AMD Epic Melan is great point of reference because right now that generation is most commonly deployed one at cloud providers like OVH, DigitalOcean and Hetzner. Meanwhile, Ryzen 9 9950X is available from smaller providers, mainly from ones who are in the game server market. My Ryzen VPS is from Barrowhost, where was very good offer on Low and Talk, and Epic is standard offer from Hetzner. For Benchmark, I've created an WooCommerce product page, and I will use Loader IO tool to test how much time is needed to get complete web page. The Loader IO test is done from New York, while servers are in Germany, so that adds some latency because it first needs to reach out to server, then server needs to send back the web page. I do it that way to better align with real world results instead of benchmarking that locally within the same server as that would inflate the results. To put it simply, I do not want to show impossible best case scenario, I want to show you how it works with real visitors. So let's see the results. With one visitor per second, we can see that performance doesn't scale with cores. You see that it's not three times faster even with one visitor, because page generation is just a portion of what is happening. Time is also spent on requesting and receiving the response. Ryzen is still faster, but let's be honest, half a second is nothing. It's amazingly fast loading on Epic 2. Remember that with more plugins, the difference will get bigger and bigger, because that's purely dependent on performance of the singular call. Now, five requests per second. We see that one core results are way worse for both Epic and Ryzen, because we multiplied the load for that one core by five times. Now with 10 requests per second. We see that one core from AMD Epic is just not good enough, more than four seconds to load a one page. With 20 requests per second, the one core AMD Epic just fails, which means that loading of web page took longer than 10 seconds. Now that number 20 requests per second may don't seem like much, but if you get thousands of requests per minute, it's less than 17 requests per second. Your website needs to be very popular in order to get so many visits per second. 50 requests per second. And now we can see that even the most powerful 4 core Ryzen starts to struggle. Now we need a lot of cores, maybe even a couple of servers, but if website isn't changing for every single visit, you may use pitch caching. 
I activated that with one click of a button in Cloud Panel. Page is generated once and then in subsequent requests, your server can respond with finished web page instantly. With such caching, even one core epic is enough for 50 requests per second and is three times faster than first test. By default, page caching in Cloud Panel will work as long as someone isn't logged in or have something added to the cart. If someone does either of these things, then page will be generated freshly for them, while still being cached for other users. This means that a very popular e-commerce website with millions of visitors per month will still work fine on the horizon with just two cores. And let's now check 500 requests per second. This is where we find the breaking point of Epic with one core. But it's still very fast, and we are now speaking about 300 thousand visits per minute, quarter of a million per minute. What are we even talking about? So yeah, now with all of that in mind, we see the clear picture. If you want to have fastest WordPress, you first want to cache your website. This is completely free and you can do it right now. If it's not enough, you want to get faster cores. If it's not enough, only then you want to add more cores. From our test, we saw that one core from Ryzen is roughly as fast as two cores from Epic. But while Ryzen's come with maximum of 16 cores, the newest Epics can have 192 cores. And you can have two Epics in one server. You cannot have two Ryzen's in one server. In this video, I compared AMD Epic Milan, the third generation of Epic, and ones that are familiar with CPUs will know that there is already fifth generation, and that fifth generation is equivalent in terms of architecture to Ryzen that we looked at. Why did I choose old Epic and new Ryzen? Hetzner, Epic Milan, OVH, Epic Milan, maybe Digital Ocean Premium, Epic Milan. That's why I'm comparing Epic Milan to the newest Ryzen. Always get AMD Ryzen if you get similar specs for the same price. But if you can get MD Epic with two times more storage or something extra like that, remember that older, slower Epic is still plenty fast, and you may be more happy with more storage than 10% faster website. That's all for today. Have a nice day.